I've come up with a solution to a problem that uh, I face and probably a lot of you face. When you're using a flash, uh, often the color of the flash doesn't match the surroundings. Um, flash is, whether a pop-up on a camera or a uh, speed light, is designed for daylight and um, the color temperature is wrong when you're in tungsten or incandescent light or when you're under fluorescent lighting. So it's a problem. Um, a speed light has solved that problem. There's filters you can attach. I mean, I have a Nikon here, and you can attach um, you know, an orange filter for incandescent light or a green filter for fluorescent light, and that'll help the white balance of your camera match. And that's all well and good if you're using speed light, but sometimes you're in situations where you're using the pop-up flash on the camera, and then you're stuck. Uh, you have to come up with some kind of solution to change the color temperature of that flash if you're going to use it in incandescent light, for example, and not have terrible blue light ruin your photo. So I was looking for a solution to that that was simple and cheap. Uh, and what I came up with was filters that I made homemade here, which I'll show you up close in a second, which basically wrap around the pop-up filter like that uh, and can be used to color the light to the, to the right temperature. And I'll show you this up close and show you how it works. Okay, this is uh, what it looks like up close. And you can see the pop-up flash is just wrapped by this colored gel. And right along here is just a piece of um, Velcro. So you can easily take it on and off. And it, the Velcro attaches to itself on the colored gel, not on the camera. So you don't leave sticky residue on your camera. Now I'll show you what, how I... Uh, made these. This is the template I started with. I just made out a piece of paper and I wanted to make sure I could wrap around the camera pop-up flash. Uh, the dimensions are two and a half inches wide and four and a quarter inches long. And then I just cut along the edge here just to relieve the, uh, the corner a little bit. It's not super critical as, as far as the dimensions. And then basically I just take a piece of Velcro here and here and wrap it around the flash. Here's what the gels look like. So there's just a piece of uh, Velcro here and here, which you can buy at you know any local store, or Walmart or whatever. And this gel, um, this one's made by Roscoe, and it's available at B&H and other retailers like that. Uh, you can buy a whole huge sheet of it for about six bucks, so it's super cheap. So this homemade color filter solution has two applications. One is if you're just using the pop-up flash for uh, making catch lights in the eyes of, of portraits or things like that. You can put the right gel on there and have the right color temperature for the flash. Uh, the other application though is when you're using the pop-up flash on a camera like mine, which is the D Nikon D90, as the commander and you're using a speed light as the slave. In the past, if you wanted to have both flashes um, in the photo, your speed light would have a, a green filter or an orange filter, whatever it is on it, which would correct the color temperature, the right thing. But the pop-up flash would be the same old terrible blue cast in, the, in your photos that you don't want. So with this solution, now I can have uh, the gel on both and it's the, it's the correct color temperature for the, for the uh, lighting involved. So that's the solution. It's pretty easy to make, it's super cheap, and um, I should probably patent it or something, but I'm sharing it with you instead.